Hey everybody, um, I've been getting a couple questions about how to calculate the percent of baking soda from your uh, experiment 11, okay? So when you do this decomposing baking soda, there is not only the problem of figuring out, um, you know, how much, like what is the mass of the stuff in your actual test tube, but then you have to go around and figure out what is your original mass of baking soda and figure out the percent of baking soda in your mixture, okay? So this is actually number seven in your pre-lab, and I'm just going to kind of go through it with you. That way, um, hopefully you will understand it better, and then you can solve the one from your actual lab, okay? So blah, 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 they do the experiment. They decompose uh, baking soda, and then here's your data, okay? And I give you some numbers, and then you're supposed to figure out some stuff. Before I would do any of this, okay, what I would do personally is I would write down my balanced equation at the top of my page or the side of my page or somewhere because it's not on here and it's really useful to, to at least know what the heck you're dealing with, okay? So, um, and if you don't know it, you can just like scroll back up in the lab and look, but this is the decomposition of baking soda. So you have NaHCO3 two of them decomposing okay it's breaking down into Na2CO3 sodium carbonate and H2CO3 carbonic acid okay now technically your carbonic acid breaks down even further it breaks down into water and carbon dioxide okay who cares for the purposes of this, okay? We're just gonna be using those two together as carbonic acid, because it's easier, okay? But here's your balanced equation. And then what I would also do is go through and say, this is a solid, this is a solid, and this is a gas, okay? Because that tells me, all right, that my initial, like before my reaction starts, I put in some baking soda into my test tube, and then after I heat it up, because I'm decomposing it, I'm heating it up, and the decomposition happens, my test tube is actually going to be lighter, right? Because some of my products are not just a solid, some of them are also a gas that will, you know, uh, I don't, it will turn into a gas and it will go out of the test tube, okay? So my test tube on this side, on my product side, should be lighter than my reactant side. And if we look, that's exactly what this tells us, okay? So first things first, the mass of my unknown mixture, right? Okay, and so your, your unknown, right? Your, your unknown actually has baking soda and it has some salt in it, okay? So, all right, so your unknown mixture has both baking soda and salt mixed in, but you can't tell the difference, right? You can't, can't tell if that's a grain of baking soda or if it's a grain of salt, okay? It's all, they all looks the same, all right? Uh, so what I need to do is figure out the um, the mass of my unknown mixture, which is both baking soda and salt, okay? It's a mix, all right? And the way I do that, okay, I have the mass of my test tube just by itself, 17.115 grams, and the mass of the test tube plus my unknown, 18.351. So I just do some simple subtraction, okay? I take the mass of my test tube and unknown, and I subtract the mass of my test tube empty, okay? 17.115, and I should get the answer, I'm just gonna write it here to save space, okay? Of 1.236 grams, okay? So this is my unknown mass, which again is gonna be baking soda and salt, all right? Now it wants me to find the mass of the gas, it literally tells you how to do that, okay? So before heating minus after heating, all right? So it's gonna be my mixture before heating, subtracting my mixture after heating because that's gonna tell me the difference in masses. That's gonna tell me basically what was the mass of this gas that went away, that, that you know went out of the test tube, okay? So for this guy, I'm gonna take 18.351, subtract, 18.008 grams and I would get the lovely answer 
of 0 0.343 grams. Okay, so I had 0.343 grams of carbonic acid leave my test tube. All right, now what? Okay, now it says uh, the mass of, of baking soda, okay, sodium bicarbonate in an unknown mixture and percent of sodium bicarbonate in the unknown. All right, so this is asking me two different things. And if I can kind of sort of scoop this up, can I? Not enough for you to see that, okay, but here's the space for you to fill up with the mass and the percent, okay? Let's get this back down for a second. All right, so it's two different steps. First, find the mass of your sodium bicarbonate, okay, of your baking soda. And the way you do that is a stoic problem using what you know, okay? You have 0.343 grams of carbonic acid. You're gonna work backwards. So I know 0 0.343 grams of H2CO3. Okay, that was what was produced in this wonderful equation, okay, from this reaction. Now I need to get out of grams of H2CO3 and into moles. So get out of grams and into moles, right? The way we do that is our molar mass, and you add that all up, and you would get 62.03 grams of H2CO3 is one mole of H2CO3. Okay, be careful to label. Now I'm in moles of carbonic acid, and I want to get into moles of sodium bicarbonate, so I use my mole ratio, okay? So this has a coefficient of one, so one mole H2CO3 for every two moles of NaHCO3. And it doesn't want moles, it wants me to find grams. Oh my gosh, I'm writing so crooked, I apologize. Okay, right, it wants the mass, so I need to get out of moles of NaHCO3, and I need to get into grams. So the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate should be 84.01 grams, if I added that up correctly, okay? And then you just type in your calculator, right? Get out your calculator and go 0.343 divided by 62.03 times two times 84.01 equals, and you should get a wonderful number that you will put right here. The mass of your sodium bicarbonate should be 0 0.929 grams. Okay, so this is the mass of this, okay, of my sodium bicarbonate that reacted, all right? However, you'll notice this, oh, I can't see that in the frame, okay? This 0.929, that is not the same number as the 1.23 whatever that I started with. Why? Okay, why isn't this exactly 1.23? That's because the difference is going to be the amount of salt in this unknown mixture, okay? So 0.929 grams of this 1.2 is sodium bicarbonate. The rest of it is salt, okay? So now it's asking to find the percent of sodium bicarbonate in my unknown, okay? That's really easy. I just, for my percent, I'm going to take my mass of NaHCO3 divided by my total mixture. And since it's a percent, you'll multiply by 100. All right, so the mass of my NaHCO3, 0 0.929 grams, divided by my total, 1.236 grams, times 100 equals, right, and grams would cancel out, which makes sense because we're getting a percent, so we don't actually want a unit, okay? We just want the percentage. And if I did this correctly, I would get 75.2% NaHCO3. All right, so these would be your two things to find from this whole page. Okay, hopefully that makes sense and uh, that helps you figure out the rest of the stuff for your lab. Okay, good luck.